Alright, we're back again. It's been brought to my attention that uh, some of y'all want to know what I think about um, the Illuminati and uh, what they control and their knowledge and whatnot. Um, I've heard about the Illuminati, uh, if, if you want to say that. Um, it's my opinion that everybody's after their own group. Uh, anonymous, um, truthers, uh, conspiracy theorists like myself, uh, always preach against them. You know, not uh, Illuminati this, Illuminati that, Illuminati the other, you know? And we blame them because they have all the knowledge. And by knowledge, I mean power. You know, everybody thinks they have power, but it's actually knowledge that they have. Uh, they give you all the symbols that you see, and they manipulate the masses, and give us the money we use, and that whole nine, right? And I just don't buy it. I don't, I don't believe it, you know? I think that the problem is, is we're after the wrong people. Uh, Illuminati is illuminated ones, ones that are enlightened, that know the knowledge, that see the signs around them, and everybody in the conspiracy world, and the truth world, and the anonymous world, and all these other realms, they believe that all the problems have to be stemming from this one group, one group, okay, 6.8 billion people on the planet. And we're all worried about one group. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all about a worldwide revolution. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't get me wrong. I support Anonymous. I support the truthers. Um, but then again, I also support uh, our soldiers that believe they're doing the right thing for the right reasons. I support Freemasons. Or at least the ones that are in it believing they're doing the right thing. They're following good wisdom. I mean, it was put to me this way. Check it out. If, now this is how it was put to me. If Jesus and all that was uh, fake, look at all the Christians that are doing good in the name of. Now, of course, my argument was like, you know, nobody's died, been killed more times than under the name of Christ than any other name. But it's the equal and opposite. It's the, the fractal of life and society. I believe that it's my fault, it's your fault, it's everybody's fault. We're stuck in this world where everything's haphazardly put together because we've learned from uh, trial and error. Unfortunately, now that we've got all the trials and errors figured out, now it's time for control. And that's what they're doing, they're controlling. They have the way to give everybody what we need. They have the way to put the world into the new world order, like they like they keep on asking for, or they keep on saying they're gonna usher in. Uh, anonymous, you know, hey, hey guys, <laughs> y'all, yeah, y'all seem like to me like a uh, new world order. I mean, I'm not trying to say nothing negative, but honestly, here, let's think about it. Okay, you control the internet, you control the information, right? Okay, so. Doesn't that put you more powerful than the government if you can just shut them down? So now, wouldn't it be y'all's responsibility to go ahead and give us this? But you see that there's a problem, don't you? You can't, can you? You can't just give us everything because you're not the system. The system is screwed fundamentally, okay? Because it's run by us, people, humans. Because we're stupid, all of us. You know what I'm saying? I'm guilty of it too. You know what I'm saying? I like Auburn. You know what I'm saying? War Eagle. You know, my brother, Roll Tide. You know what I'm saying? Can't forget Roll Tide. You know, yeah, I love Alabama football. But nonetheless, there's a division. And that's what my point is. There's a division. There's a division. See, he's a soldier. I'm a conspiracy theorist. He's Alabama. I'm Auburn. You see how that, that right there, just in my family, just, just one, one little thing, we already have a division. Now, you look everywhere else, you know, I'm uh, born in Huntsville, Alabama, America, I'm a white man, and by the way, sorry for slavery and the whole 
everything that white man has done, because apparently a lot of y'all hate me because I'm white, and uh, my bad, you know, I didn't mean to be born this way. But anywho, y'all are stuck in divisions, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's football, it's religion, it's churches, it's daycare, it's sports, it's everything you can think of. You know, I like this, and you don't like that, so therefore, we're opposed to each other. And we do this willfully with each other, deliberately. You don't see a problem in it, but that's where we're stupid. Unify. You know, unite as one, divided by zero. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to whoever thought of that one up, right? Unify. I mean, if I've learned anything from the Illuminati, it's unification. I mean, aren't they after one world government? Okay. Now, look at the world. we got 6.8 billion people. It just makes sense that we would eventually have a one world government anyway, right? So, what's your problem? You know, they're not telling you how to do it because then, they, then you can turn around and you can do your way in order to take it from them and distort it. See, they do have the knowledge. The problem is it's so secret. If you ask me, they should have done it on that 2012 kick. You know, instead of going out and faking school shootings and all that stuff, they needed to go ahead and just let Anonymous release all their information, let Tyler run free, all communication lines open. But we don't want that, do we? We want to sit down and we want to watch our TV and we want our Papa John's pizza. And we want to take our Lunesta. And we want to take our Nasonex. We want to do this. We want to do that. Selfishness. I bet each and every one of y'all love to celebrate your birthdays. Were you aware that that's the second most important satanic holiday? Vanity. See, it's all about yourself. See, how y'all look at yourself is the problem. You think that you have the right to tell people how to feel and you have the right to be mad at somebody for their decision. You don't. I don't have the right to be mad at them. I don't have the right to be mad at anybody. You know, unless they do me directly wrong. They do me directly wrong. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. That being said, do what you gotta do.